There you are. Hi. Hi, Heather. Hi. Hey, Dr. Cloud. Oh, my goodness. So glad to actually talk to you. That's so cool. Um, I'm like a total fan girl over here. Um, oh, <laughs> I, well, thank you. For, I love. Thank you for calling. Yeah, I love all your stuff. Um, my question is, um, how do I be kind? Um, well, I, Heather, how do I be kind Heather, and still? Heather, yes, Heather. yes. Mm -hmm. Is it possible Hello? for you to not be kind? Yeah, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> is it is it possible for you to not be kind? Not really. Well, I mean, really. I can be uh, nice. I, I know how to be nice. I know how to be really nice all the time, but kind is a little bit more deep. So well, um, here's here's uh, why I say this. Here's why I say this. Usually when people say, gosh, but I don't want to be mean, you know, gosh, but I want to be kind. And they're concerned about that. Generally, right. those are the kindest people that are over concerned about being so kind that it's difficult for them to tell somebody a hard thing. Exactly. That's Is that you? Yeah. That's totally me. Yeah. I'm in okay. I'm coming I'm on the coming out of a twenty year marriage. I've been separated. We've been separated um a couple of times throughout the twenty years, but um it's I there's just there's no repairing our marriage at this time. Now it's just we can co parent our children together and, and that's as that's as far as I can go. Um, with him and he's really struggling with that. Um, you know, he, we just, uh, you know, it was a really sad day, but it was just our 20th wedding anniversary was just last week. And he sent me a big bouquet of flowers. He's very romantic. Yeah, so he he's wants very, you back. But, oh yeah. He wants you. Yeah. And so why, mm -hmm. why, why are y'all, why are you splitting up? Is there any way to say in a sentence or two? Um, yeah, there's some addiction issues and um, some verbal and emotional and probably psychological and spiritual abuse um, that's been happening. Um, it's been a very destructive, mainly emotional um, and verbal uh, relationship. What is the, what is the addiction? Um, it's pot. He smokes pot every day, all the time. Um, he drinks a little bit, but that's it's mainly, I'm not, you know, I'm not an anti, you know, person, but I've watched what it's done to him. You know, I've known him for right. 23 years and I've watched what that particular, what, what, you know, what pot has done to him. It's kept him from being, getting good jobs. syndrome it, yes. is a real thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what's your question? Yes. Um, my question is, how do I, how do I still be kind to him? I mean, obviously I, I care deeply still for him. Um, but how do I give him the bad news that I'm filing for divorce and that there is no, like, there's hope for, for future, but there's not hope for our marriage in the future. Um, you, I, I, just, you, I just can't find the words. Okay. <laughs> but you're clear on that. There's no way you want to try to work this out. There's no path. No, I mean, I, I am, I'm, I'm really clear. Um, I, I just, I, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I okay. You, you don't um, I, I, have tried no, everything. I, you, you don't have to <laughs> have to justify it to me. I'm just saying. Mm. I'm trying to clarify. Is this? Are you yeah. certain? 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 For whatever reason. I'm done. Done. Okay. Done. Done. This time. Well, then, yes. Are I'm you? Done. Do you guys? Mm. Do you guys have a um, a marriage counselor you've been seeing? Um, we've seen. We've had four different marriage counselors in 20 years. Um. I have a, I have a, do you I'm, have I'm getting individual you, counseling. Do you have one that you're seeing now? No. Do you no. have one that you saw, the last one you saw, that's current enough with both of you that you could walk in there and, and have a conversation with? Um, no, not current enough, I would say. No, it's been, it's okay. been probably a Because a lot, a lot of times, a year a lot of times mm -hmm. well... W would they still be really familiar with you and both of you have a good connection with this person? That's what I'm asking. Um, I do have a good connection with, with her. Um, and yeah, she knows. I mean, she, we, we okay. saw her for probably about it, six well, months. Yeah. 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 All right. I, I'm going to just throw this out there as a, as a mm -hmm. suggestion. Um, okay. A lot of times conversations like the one you're talking about, um, 
are best done in the context with the marriage counselor that's been working with both of you. Mm. That way it's not just you and him. There's somebody there to help him metabolize it and somebody right. sort of, it just stabilizes things. And, and you could say, um, you know what? I, I think we do need to have a conversation about, um, mm. about all of this. Um, but I'd really like for, I'd like for us to have it with, you know, Dr. So-and-so. That's one option. Right. The other right. option is basically when you're saying, how can you be kind and do this? I think you probably know how to be kind. What you're probably really asking is, how can I do this in a way that that's not going to be devastating to him? Right. Or not hurt him in some way right. or not. Yeah. And I don't I don't know that you, that you can do the, that. I mean, you can say it as nicely as you can, but apparently it's, this is something he really wants and it's going to be devastating to him. And that's, that's, what's, that's kind of what's going to happen whenever we give somebody uh, really bad news, you know, for them. Right. Mm -hmm. um, right. We can't, we can't have, we can't have the wish to have something that hurts, not hurt. So if you can get clear right. inside of yourself that this is yeah. going to be really, really hurtful and then do it as lovingly as possible, um, right. then that's the answer to the question. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. I wish I, I mean, could give you a way to uh, not have this hurt. I know. I wish I could. I wish it wouldn't hurt him for me to, because I, I mean, I, I obviously, I still care deeply for him. I'm, you know, he's been, I've known him half my life. I've kind of made him the, the center of my world, even uh, to a fault, um, you know, putting him um, even before God sometimes probably, but now I'm trying to figure out how I, how do I, what's my world look like without him being in the center of it. Um, so um yeah, this that is good. Um, that's a good idea. Maybe yeah. to see if I can if I can set up a something where that, there could be someone that's else usually, there. That's that would, usually that's usually the one I prefer when people have to have to really make this decision and make it with help. Okay, got to talk to some right. other people okay. here. And um, all right, thank you so much. Good luck to you. Okay. Thanks, Doctor Cloud. Pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Bye. Thanks for calling, Heather. Um, uh -huh. Gosh, you know, two two similar situations um when do you when you make a decision to end a marriage that's clear you know if we go back to the faith perspective that there's guidelines for that um but i think it gets to another question in all the middle ground of all of this because what we're really talking about is when do you have hope and when do you not have hope and this is what we're talking about out of my book necessary endings um i have a whole whole section on, you know, hope is not something that you should, um, you shouldn't have to be a clairvoyant wizard to be ascertaining, are they really going to turn around or not? You shouldn't ever be in the, in the position of thinking that you've got to be omniscient to make that call accurately. That's not, that's not how judgment calls are made. Judgment calls are made based on a preponderance of objective evidence. And so is somebody going to change or not when they're telling you they want to change and they're telling you they're going to make it better and all of that? Telling you doesn't mean crap. I mean, that's just words. You've heard them all before. But there have got to be some objective reasons why you would choose to spend more time, more time and energy. Remember this phrase right out of the book, Necessary Endings. Hope spends time. See, time is like money. You have a finite amount of it, okay? And within a little pool called time, you invest something called energy, your life, your heart, your mind, and strength, soul and strength, every moment of time, you're jumping in there with your energy and that creates the life that we have. Everybody's got a certain number of moments. Everybody's got a certain amount of, you know, 
of energy, of their heart, mind, soul, and strength. That's basically what we have. Everything else can disappear tomorrow, but you'll always have the next minute, hour, day, month, year, decade. We don't know how much, but as long as we're breathing, we have time. And into that moment of time, what we have to invest is our heart, mind, soul, and strength to create whatever we're creating about life. So when you're dealing with somebody and, you, and you're saying, should I invest more time with this person? Should I invest more time in not firing them? Should I invest more time in trying to be friends with them? Should I invest more time in staying in a marriage with them? All of that. You're not clairvoyant. You know, there's no way that you, you should have to read the tea leaves and figure this out. What you need is like, a doctor makes a diagnostic decision based on a lab test. Well, there are lab tests to how you can know that and it's not 100%, but it's pretty good how you can know when there's objective reasons to spend more time. That's what I talk about in necessary endings. When there's certain, certain things present, the chances of this working are real. The chances of this working are objective and it makes sense to spend more time and energy and hope. But in the absence of certain things, then you're just wishing. So look for the objective reasons for there to be more hope. If you want to learn more about that, go to boundaries.me. And there's lots of stuff about it.